you will see some economics questions, probably three on your exam, and we will go through just some of the most basic economic terms that you're likely to see. So if you're not familiar with this stuff, then you'll have to study up on it a little bit. But really, they're pretty common economic terms here. So we start with taxes. Tax cuts should increase consumer spending, increase deficits, and reduce government service. This makes sense as lower taxes means more money in consumers' pockets, but less revenue for the government. If the government has less revenue, then they cannot pay for all the services. Purchasing power is decreased by inflation. Inflation is a sustained increase in the general price level of goods and services in an economy over a period of time. When the price level rises, each unit of currency buys fewer goods and services. Consequently, inflation reflects a reduction in the purchasing power per unit of money. For example, what you made last year versus this year. 2% Inflation rate means what cost $100 last year now costs $102. This is why old people cannot believe what things cost. Deflation is the exact opposite. It's the contraction of the money supply. Purchasing power is now decreasing. Tariffs are tax on imported or exported goods. This usually will increase the price of good domestically. Government collects taxes, benefits domestic producers because it is harder for foreigners to compete, and it also benefits government because of revenue, but not consumers. Most economists view tariffs as an overall negative for the importing country. For supply and demand, we need to understand the impacts on price. If supply is low and demand is high, price goes up significantly. If supply is high and demand is low, price goes down significantly. The market always settles at the point where supply equals demand. If demand increases and supply is unchanged, then this leads to a higher equilibrium price and quantity. A little closer, supply and demand. All right, the SEC and the FDIC you need to know these. The SEC regulates the market. The SEC has a three-part mission, to protect investors, maintain fair, orderly, and efficient markets, and to facilitate capital formation. To achieve this mandate, the SEC enforces the statutory requirement that public companies submit quarterly and annual reports, as well as other periodic reports. In addition to annual financial reports, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which is the FDIC, is the United States government corporation providing deposit insurance to depositors in U.S. banks. The FDIC was created by the 1933 Banking Act during the Great Depression to restore trust in American banking. The FDIC insures deposits in member banks up to $250,000. The Federal Reserve is a central banking system of the United States. Over the years, events such as the Great Depression in the 1930s and the Great Recession during the 2000s led to the expansion of the roles and responsibilities of the Federal Reserve System. The U.S. Congress established three key objectives for monetary, for monetary policy in the Federal Reserve Act. These are maximizing employment, stabilizing prices, and moderating long-term interest rates. Its duties have expanded over the years and as of 2009 also include supervising and regulating banks, maintaining the, the stability of the financial system, and providing financial services to depository institutions, the U.S. government, and foreign official institutions. All right, the difference between GDP and GNP. The gross domestic product, GDP, is one of the primary indicators used to gauge the health of a country's economy. It represents the total dollar value of all goods and services produced over a specific period of time. GNP measures the production levels of any American or American-owned entity regardless of where in the world the production is taking place. In the U.S., the GNP is much 
greater than the GDP because of the mass amounts of production that happens outside of the country. A country like China has the exact opposite situation.